Well, folks, I'm going to uh, hope that you can hear me over this incessant wind. And I hope I'm not beating the, the whole wind issue to death with a stick. But it has been the overriding theme of our 2014 summer holidays on the boat has been the wind. seems to be getting stronger and more consistent on a daily basis. Anyways, that said, as I keep saying to uh, the lovely and talented anchor girl who was just sitting beside me mere minutes ago, she got up to uh, make the salad because we are barbecuing right now and she's getting the Caesar salad ready, which is just yummy. Anyways, as I have been saying to her for the last year at least, if we want to go boating and be adventuresome and travel far afield as we are today, we're going to have to get used to boating in the wind. <laughs> and believe me, after this last couple of weeks, we're really getting used to boating in the wind. Um, problem is with this big boat, there's so much windage on it. it. It acts as a sail. And with the gusty wind, which this microphone is probably picking up, it just it pushes the boat all around. And with our travels through the Trent Severn Waterway, as we are right now, we are we are 39 locks, I think we have to go through all together, down, and then the same amount back. So almost 80 locks that we have to go through, including this one here at the lovely Lock 6 of the Trent Severn Waterway, Frankfurt, Ontario, which is right there uh, in amongst the community of Frankfurt. And it's a beautiful spot. Um, we've only been this way once before, and that was eight years ago. I think I mentioned that previously. But anyways, we never stopped at this at this lock. And lo and behold, they actually have shore power connections, which I never knew. And I was suggesting to Anchor Girl that that was probably more of a local community initiative than Parks Canada, because I know these weren't here the last time we were here. Anyways, it's great, very reasonable. We have a season's mooring pass, so any night we stay at any of the locks doesn't cost us any extra. Yeah, so like I say, the wind, big sail in the wind. <laughs> the problem is going through these locks, which is generally not a problem, but when it's windy and the wind kicks around and howls around in those canyons, those mini canyons that are the locks, it does all sorts of weird, wonderful things to this boat. And just getting over here today and tying up on the wall, the tie-up wall for the evening, that was that proved challenging as well. And resulted in a little bit of discussion, shall we say, between Anchor Girl and I. But bottom line, we are here and loving it, living the dream, watching the uh, chicken start to burn on the barbecue, so I should wrap this up. Now I'm just looking up the sky. I don't know if the mic has picked that up or not, but there is some sort of jet aircraft flying low right there. And that looks like a private jet. Uh, real quick, when we're down at Trenton, we're just outside of Trenton Air Force Base, so we saw a lot of funky uh, military aircraft uh, flying over. Got to get to the barbecue before it burns because Anchor Girl will yell at me for that. And uh, just wanted to say hoo-ha. Frankford Lock, Lock 6 of the Trent Severn Waterway. Another new experience for us. Another awesome inspiration for us. And uh, I hope it inspires you as well. Get out there and live the dream, folks. Get out there and live your own dreams. This is what it's all about. Life is short. Got to make the most of it, even in the wind. Hoo-ha, love it. Again, thanks for following. Cheers. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss any of the new videos coming out. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Daily updates there, and always lively conversation on Facebook so you don't want to miss it. 
And you can also follow us at BoatsBeachesAndBars.com where you're going to find even more links to all sorts of neat things including our online store. And you'll find all the links to everything mentioned up here, down there, in the description. So you'll have no excuse not to follow along. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.